Okay, so our project was called Impact of Hoots Plant Species on Food Preference in Epimesis hortaria. Epimesis hortaria is actually um, the tool tree beauty moth. As you can see in these pictures here, this is all the stages of their development. Um, what we were interested in was whether or not um, they had food preference over one of their food types. Um, if they had one preference over one of their food types over the other. So what we did was we went to Alapoca State Run Park in Delaware and caught um, wild larvae of Epimesis hortaria and raised them in the lab, raised them to adulthood, mated them, and then used their offspring for the experiment. So in the experiment what we did was because we found them on all different these four food types, pawpaw, spice with sassafras, and tulip poplar, um, we broke them into four groups and each group was raised on a different food type. So after um, 9 to 13 days of hatsation, we threw them in these arenas and in these arenas um, there were the food four types present and we left them in there for 48 hours. Um, we took pictures of the leaves before and after the experiment to measure their herbivory. However, for this early trial, we left them in there for 48 hours. When we took them out, the leaves were very crinkly, so there was no choice anymore. So um, that data we really cannot use because there was no choice, so we can't really use it. Um, but we just put on the poster anyway because we did the experiment. And then we did the same thing after 20 to 22 days um, of hatchation. And instead of leaving in there for 48 hours, we left it in there for 24. And with our data, we came to the conclusion that the caterpillars that are raised on sassafras, preferred sassafras, and the caterpillars that are raised on tulip poplar, preferred tulip poplar. Not really sure why that is. We didn't do any statistical tests yet because we didn't have enough time. We were running another project at the same time, but um, from this raw data, it's pretty conclusive that that's pretty much what happened. Um, but we want to, for future directions, we want to do this whole thing over, especially the early trial, possibly do it in a petri dish. And uh, Mike, would you like to talk about the, the future work? Oh, I've got the mic, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we also wanted to test for the P54 enzyme, so um, for gene expression to see if the caterpillars are raised on, let's just say, sassafras, um, created enzymes in their body to break down the toxins in the plant. So when we threw them in the arenas, they would just go to that plant and eat that plant. So we want to test for that enzyme and also to see the nutritional value in the leaves. So that was our experiment. <laughs>